What's up YouTube? Today is March 16th. It is 8 a.m. and I just got done with fasted cardio. Um, I only do fasted cardio twice a week on Mondays and Fridays. So today is Friday and I just got done with that. And now I'm going to cook up some breakfast and show you guys that. Today I will be doing a full day of eating so stay tuned. So these are the eggs I used. It's the organic pasteurized Vital Farms eggs and they are more pricey. I get them at Whole Foods but they taste way better. 90% of the time this is what my omelets look like because I suck at flipping omelets. This coffee combo though is so good. I should have mentioned this in my supplement video, but I actually also take two tablespoons of this apple cider vinegar in the morning, like 15-ish minutes before I eat, and it's just to help with my digestive system and everything. So something that I want to mention is if you are counting macros, you need to be weighing every single thing out. Seriously, especially since I'm like six weeks out now. Measuring every single thing is super important. So I'm weighing out my bread. I'm using Sara Lee's 45 calorie delight bread. And oh, it comes up, okay, 44, it just said, okay, 45 grams now, which is actually right on point with what it says in the nutrition information is that two slices is 45 grams. Like Van's waffles actually come out to be like 20 grams more on the scale than it says in the nutrition information, which is BS because then you're taking in a lot more calories than you think you are. So... Just a heads up for bikini competitors on prep, I know Vans waffles are delicious, but they weigh a lot more than you think, and you're probably taking in more calories than you think. So this is the finished product of my omelette and turkey bacon. I use Applegate's organic turkey bacon and love it. The macros are great. Two slices are 3 fat and 12 protein, so a lot less fat and more protein in the Applegate ones and I just topped my omelette with the oh yeah Miss Dash original seasoning it's salt free and super yummy on omelettes and then in my omelette is spinach and one laughing cow cheese wedge this is crack this is the finished product of my toast so one of them is topped with 30 grams of avocado and pink Himalayan salt. And then the other is topped with one tablespoon of that almond pecan uh, nut butter I just showed you. And half a teaspoon of Cured Nutrition's peanut butter and chocolate spice. It is seriously so nice out this morning in Seattle. When there's sunshine in Seattle, it's so beautiful. Okay, so first question is, how can getting adjustments help your performance in the gym and how can it help with recovery? Um, increased performance manifests as a result of the biomechanics being normalized, and therefore the muscle only has to work in the normal range of motion as opposed to balancing or protecting for an abnormal range of motion. So it's super important. Plus, from a neural fiber point of view, if there's interference on the nerve, then it can't get the maximum out of the muscle because it's already got pressure on it. It's not sending the proper signals. So that's the best way to answer that. In terms of rehab or uh, recovery, again, if the muscle's not 
constantly changing to try and balance an abnormal structure or an abnormal biomechanical structure, then it's able to recover faster because it only has the fibers that are building to heal for it. Awesome. Okay. And how often do you suggest people who are active in the gym to get adjusted? It depends on their particular goals in terms of uh, some people present with much more complex issues in terms of their biomechanics. Example would be like scoliosis or leg like differential or uh, you know old fractures or injuries that have perpetuated abnormal biomechanics and therefore they've learned to do things wrong. So they have to be taken care of with more intensity. Then you reach these people at the elite level, uh, my football players, uh, basketball and baseball players who are performing at the national level. The only way that they're better than somebody is to be, um, you know, maybe one tenth of a second faster or one hundredth of a second faster or um, better balanced than somebody else. So they are performing at an optimum level that can only be achieved by removing all interference from the nervous system, one, and from maximizing the biomechanics, part two. So. so what you just saw was me getting adjusted by my chiropractor. His name is Jeremy Heisler and he's at Kirkland Life Chiropractic. I've been seeing him for about two and a half years and I can definitely say that I've had a big improvement in my overall posture, performance in the gym, and recovery. I actually have scoliosis. It's pretty, it's sort of severe, I would say. I have a 49 degree curb, and that's like borderline for surgery. I had to go to, they had me go to the children's hospital in Bellevue to see a surgeon for it, and he actually told me know I really don't think it's necessary for you right now uh, we can check things out and like every 10 years if you want unless you're beginning to hunch over I really don't recommend the surgery nor think it's necessary so yay no rod in my back which is awesome I'm very grateful for that but and I can say it's made a tremendous difference if you live on the east side of Washington and, and you're looking for a chiropractor, I definitely recommend you check out Jeremy. So not only is this like a full day of eating, but also I would say like a day in the life of a bikini competitor. So I just wanna be real with you guys and show you what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So throughout the week, Monday through Friday, I help my mom right now with her childcare. So I guess you can say I'm like a childcare teacher. I'm actually, watching them right now play in the sandbox. I can't like show you guys the kids because that's like not allowed. But um, yeah, I work with my mom in the mornings and in the afternoon and it's our family business so I'm helping her with that. As you guys know, I got my NASM certification and personal training so right now I am taking on online clients. If you're interested in that, my email is hayleymedia at gmail.com and you can contact me there or through any of my social media accounts that are linked down in the description box below. And so yeah, I will be, I found a studio where I can personally train clients and it's really private, it's in Redmond and it's, it's really nice. So if any of you live on the east side and you're interested in personal training with me, just uh, send me a message or an email and I'll definitely get back to you on that. So yeah, I'm definitely a lot more reasonably priced and I'm certified. I've had amazing coaches and I've learned so much throughout my years of lifting. So yeah, if you're interested in that, just let me know. So this is my second time of the day eating, I guess you could say, because this is really not a full meal. This is just a snack. So it is just one ounce of celery, three ounces of zucchini cut up, and 15 grams of almonds. So pretty boring, but just uh, keeping my metabolism up and eating about every three hours. The struggles of working in a daycare. 
so this is meal number three and there's actually there's ground turkey under there I swear so 99% fat free turkey um, some green beans two tablespoons of the hope foods mild green chili guacamole which is so good and one tablespoon of salsa because salsa is life It's now about 4.40 and I'm cooking my pre-workout meal, so I'm going to show you guys that in the next clip. Okay, so pre-workout meal part one looks disgusting, but whatever, I like it and I eat what I like, so it does not matter what you think. This is three ounces of cucumber slices and 3.25 ounces of uh, 99 percent fat free ground turkey and a smidge of mustard on the side because mustard is life okay you guys so this is part two of my pre-workout meal that is two Quaker rice cakes and one slice of Julian's bakery coconut bread it's paleo bread and I'm trying it for the first time and it's super low carb only six yeah six grams of carbs per slice so hopefully that will be good and one of my rice cakes or no yeah one of my rice cakes and the bread is topped with six grams of PB fit and then those are some blueberries in the back that I'm going to add onto one of my rice cakes and I'm also gonna top uh, the CBD Cured Nutrition, Cinnamon, and Honey Spice on top of that one teaspoon, which is three carbs. Hey guys, so I totally forgot to film my post-workout meal, but I will just show you what it was. I had 28, so 28 grams, one serving of this cereal, Sprinkled Donut Crunch, which is super good. It honestly does remind me of a sprinkled donut. It's like a birthday cake donut, which is super delicious. Delicious. And then I had it with one scoop of the PE Science Snickerdoodle Whey Protein, which is amazing. I also had 22 grams of banana for my post-workout. I'm doing an at-home full body circuit with my mom right now, and this is her. <laughs> so this is also one of my favorite nut butters this is a peanut butter from the lion's choice and it's salted caramel and 33 grams which is like two tablespoons is 12 grams of fat this is not focusing right now hello yeah it just won't focus but um it's 12 grams of fat and i will be using 17 grams of this on my rice cakes okay so night meal is two suzy thin cakes which is only eight grams of carbs topped with 17 grams of that lion's choice salted caramel peanut butter with 15 grams of walnuts which are honestly like one of my favorite nuts ever i think they're so good and they're so good for you and one scoop of the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides, because health. And yeah, that will be it for my full day of eating.